6.30, we want to update you on the breaking news on the 805. Car flew off the 905 with the little bull you see there right here. They're putting on the stretcher and his mom inside. Yeah, our 10 News breaking news tracker captured the moments. The little boy was placed right on the stretcher here and taken to the hospital. His mom as well taken to the hospital. 10 News photojournalist Paul Anderick live at the scene. And Paul, you just spoke with a witness who saw that mom lying on the ground after the crash. Yes, I did. And you can see the uh, car being pulled up now, and you can also see a child seat in the back. Now, the witness you're going to hear from in a second uh, was actually up here on the shoulder, and this is the northbound 805. Uh, let's go ahead and let you hear that, what he had to say. Well, I was uh, coming down the 805 here, and then I saw uh, a lady and her son waving, waving us down, and... Uh, so I went around to see what's going on because it was weird to me that there was somebody so early in the morning. So I turned around and then I saw the vehicle that was like turned over. I thought she came down on this side, but apparently she came down from that side of the hill and um, she was in really bad shape. Now it's really fortunate that that witness uh, uh, spotted them and that those, the, the mother and child were actually able to walk away from that crash when you see the damage that was inflicted on their SUV. Now, they went down about 200 feet down into a ravine, and if they weren't able to get out of there, it's, I don't know how long they would have been in that, trapped in that car because no one can see them. It's really not visible from the road, so it's I'm very thankful they were able to get up there and that witness was able to stop and help them. Yeah, Paul, thanks. Let's get over to our Caltrans camera right now. I can show you exactly where that is. Uh, that is right here, and Paul's down in this ravine right here, but you can see um, emergency vehicles still on scene. They're blocking that shoulder, but it's not impeding traffic.